Hello guys and welcome to another video. I bought myself a new laptop and that means of course that I have to show it to you and compare it to my old laptop. So to no one's surprise I bought another Lenovo because I really like the brand but this time I went for a fundamentally different model or well it's maybe not fundamentally different but it's very different from what I've had in the past. This here was my old laptop. This is a Lenovo ThinkPad T14 G1 Gen 1 and this here the new one is actually look at that I've never had such a hipster thing in my life a uh, Yoga X1 G5 and why the Yoga well I'll tell you that in a second but before I actually want to tell you a couple of things about the old laptop which Man, this is one of the best laptops that I ever had. Um, I used it, I can't remember how long, but at least two years. And I am very, very happy with this. Or, well, I was, not that I replaced it. But up to the point, um, I really like this machine because it's got a lot going for it. First of all, it's relatively affordable. Uh, second, the battery life. That's a surprise to me. It, this actually has decent battery life up to five, maybe even six hours, depending on usage, of course. So totally fine. And I bought it used. So there's that. Awesome keyboard. Awesome durability. The durability is maybe one thing where this one isn't as good as that one because I don't know. I've not used this um, type of machine ever. And I take my laptops everywhere and they usually don't have the easiest of life. You know, I shove them in backpacks. I throw the backpacks around. I set it on top of all sorts of different things. Sometimes it might even slide and, you know, it, it, it does have to endure a lot. And even dropped it. Yes, I dropped the laptop once where it did suffer from a slight problem. Where is it actually? I can't remember. It's somewhere on the edge. Yeah, here is where it hit. The impact hit and yeah that's really everything but that was a drop so durability a plus like i really mean it also quality keyboard is amazing um, and it can endure a lot so that's one thing i will miss because i feel like even though this doesn't feel bad quality at all uh, it does feel sturdy and, and it, in some regards it feels more high quality than that I don't think it has exactly this type of durability where what the, the T series are famous for. What I know though is they have a pretty good track record, like they're supposed to be very reliable. And um, yeah, from first impressions, I've used this now roughly a week or so. Let's actually boot it up. And um, why I got the Yoga now from, you know, a traditional laptop with no touch screen. 14-inch, uh, you know, very traditional machine to this, which is a convertible. So this is actually a uh, a laptop which can be folded around and then be used as a tablet. And I've bought it for ve this very reason. Like this was actually my reason to get rid of that because currently I'm attending a school and I finally want to move to all digital like I don't want to deal with paper and sheet stuff anymore and so I am gonna go for this type of writing so it's still something very new to me I've never used a computer in this sense in this way before actually where is the pen here there's the pen the Lenovo pen yeah when I was in school computers were an alien machine the teachers were not really familiar with anything digital, not even remotely. So this is something very, very new to me, but I'm all open for it. I think I can, I can use it like that. At least like all my colleagues have it or most of them anyway, like 95%. And they said, once you do this, you will not go back. You will not, you will not regret it. One guy though, though told me I should have gotten an iPad instead because it was lower. And I, I get where he's coming from, because if you were to write here on the edge, that might be a bit uncomfortable. And I'm a left-hander. I mean, I don't, I don't know if that matters really, but 
it's still very interesting like a feeling that I have to put my hand on a screen and like use it this way that's still very weird to me and new but that is the reason why I bought it that's the reason why I switched it it didn't have anything to do with power with like anything else that was the reason why I needed a new laptop because I did not want to go for two machines you know I I at least wanted one that can do everything and so I was like of course it has to be a ThinkPad because I like those things I think they're pretty good um, I've actually gotten criticized a couple of times on my channel for you know only recommending Lenovo's or like praising them so much guys I'm not saying those are the best like in terms of everything like the best in the industry no not at all but what I really appreciate about them is you can actually still repair those damn things. They might not have the best track record. I have a lot of cases myself where I've had dead motherboards with Lenovo's. That seems to be a very big problem with those. Uh, but at least you can repair them. You know, there's no parts pairing shit. There is no like parts not available stuff. You can get everything. You know, it's easy to repair. You just flip it over, open it. This is how it should be. So. That's why I like the brand. It's it's no, it's maybe not the most perfect and modern one, but you know, I've had experience with those now for years and I like him in general. So as I said, I used this for around about a week or so, and I've had a couple of uh, very pleasant experiences and stuff that I really like more from this um, over that. I will come to that in a second. First, I want to show you the specifications. This is a Core i7 10th gen. 2.3 gigahertz and it has 16 gigabytes of RAM. I might up the RAM if I really needed to because this needs to run one program called Autodesk um, Inventor, which needs a lot of RAM. So I might just upgrade the RAM, but 16 is not all bad. Um, for the rest of the stuff, it's actually totally fine. It's just this one program. It has half a terabyte of storage, which is also a big upgrade over this, which only had 256 gigs. Um, and yeah, the screen, is definitely where it's at. The screen and the speakers are the two main things which this does way, way, way better than that. So this one is always, it has always been a complaint of mine that the screen is just kind of dull, mediocre. It's not as bad as it used to be. And if you look at the old, like I used to have a T460S or a T430, even those screens were well, the T460 screen was okay, but the T430, for example, was horrendous. It had like terrible viewing angles. It was not bright and all that. And this one still isn't awesome. This is still not all that bright. This is with the brightness all the way up. Um, it doesn't have the best colors and all that. So the screen is kind of dull on that. And also speakers, they don't sound good at all. Here, quick infos about the specs of that one. This one has... Uh, a Ryzen Pro 4650, so a pretty good chip from my experience. This is a pretty good chip. It's a six core, if I'm not wrong. Um, I've really liked this processor. I hope I also like the 10th Gen i7, but this one is also pretty new, very new actually, and, and pretty fast. So that is okay to me, but I'm kind of sad to see the Ryzen go. I've just, I can only say good things about it. I also think the Ryzen contributes a lot to the good battery life. Um, so yeah, it doesn't run hot as well. It's, I can really recommend the Ryzen and I've also read online that people do prefer on, at least on the T14 series, the Ryzen version. Um, but you know what, it's just my kind of what I, you know, the feeling from what I've got still, I don't think that the, the i7 is bad at all. I think it's still a pretty good chip. So now there's that playing on the yoga. It's also way louder than that one. Let's crank it up all the way. Wow, that's really loud. It's not bad at all. Yeah, it's uh, way more, how do I say, shallow. Like it's, it doesn't have as much bass as that. It's not as loud. And overall, it's just not as good as that one. Uh, I'm no audio expert, like not in the slightest, but from a very like subjective point of view, this one's just way better. Um, the screen um, on that is higher resolution. This is, I think, 2560 by 1440, if I'm not wrong. 
and that one is 1080p 1920 by 1080 so of course you're gonna have better resolution and uh, also the colors seem to be much better on that one although my classic complaint with Lenovo's the brightness is still not awesome so yes colors are better resolution is way better it feels overall much nicer to look at than that just the colors seem to be way better but the brightness is still not all that good if you compare this for example to a macbook you're gonna easily see what i mean um, so lenovo is not famous for their screens they use at all so yeah but this one i can't you know i can't complain too much this this is still a good screen but considering how much this thing was new you know this was a very expensive laptop when it was new i think still that may be a a point of criticism a valid point of criticism just because you you spend like 14 1500 dollars or something for a machine like that new and then you have a screen which isn't all that bright so yeah um but that's just my two cents um in general i'm very happy with the screen don't get me wrong it's a big upgrade from this screen so I don't know about battery life on this one it's kind of unfair to compare these two because this has a way more uh cycles on a battery so i actually think the battery is kind of worn on that one um so right now it says four hours remaining i don't know how accurate that is that would make it like to 10 hours if i charge it up all the way or like nine hours i don't think that's all that plausible but i still have to i can't really tell you an exact figure because i've only used it for a week but it holds fine during my work day so far although i think when i put some higher stress on it like edit some video or do the inventor stuff then it might just eat away the battery faster i will not of course not go into like comparing speeds with benchmarks and all that because you have other youtube channels who does do that way better i just want to give you my own subjective impression so maybe if it gives you peace of mind actually you know did buy all of these machines uh on my channel out of my own pocket so i went into this completely neutral and so i tell you what i like and what i don't like and you can you know of course believe me so one thing that i have to admit i don't like so much on that um which it isn't bad not not, not at all but slightly better is the keyboard on that because it's got more travel i'm just a sucker for keyboard with travel I know it's not as hipster and as cool and all that but i just like a keyboard with good travel and this because of its form factor as you see it's very thin and it uh, so therefore it cannot have so much travel and i think it also has to do with this mechanism you know that it has to like move in and stuff i do think that is also partly a reason um but yeah so as you see it works relatively well switching around it doesn't glitch around and crash around like some cheaper convertibles which i've seen and witnessed and so that's something i'm glad that it works so well you would you know take it for granted that all manufacturers have that figured out by now that actually you know windows doesn't glitch out and crash around when you switch between the modes but then oh no that's not a thing nowadays yet unfortunately so Lenovo can do that good um so yeah keyboard is it's still really good like I still have to say that compared to other machines this still feels like uh, a, a proper keyboard to me I can type on this very well as you can see so yes um I'm a fan still I can recommend it um, the trackpad is well it's almost the same there's hardly any difference between the two it doesn't have any more functions it doesn't even look all too different so yeah i'll give it a pass i am still i'm still of the opinion that having two buttons to actually physically click is a good thing it might not look as sleek it's again not as hipster and all that but i think it's still very convenient because you can't mistake this this is a button which you have to press and that's it you know but yeah i, I like the the two things i like the multi-touch trackpads and i also like the buttons so yes i think they did a good job also this one has a fingerprint reader which is a nice bonus this one did not have any kind of fingerprint reader 
so that's just an option they did have that sometimes sometimes they did it sometimes not um but uh yeah so that is my like first review of the thinkpad x1 yoga gen 6 uh gen 5 ha wait a minute i have a surprise for you look at that what i have here this is a gen 6 this is the same just one generation newer what are the differences between these two uh first this the processor is one gen newer it's 11th gen and it has a different colored keyboard <laughs> but yeah apart from that I, there's hardly any different between these two so i ended up with this one because i bought a bulk of those and um yeah they seem to sell really well and uh i decided to keep that one for myself because i got this for a really really good deal and also it's a bit worse for the wear it has some wear here and there it has this you hear that i don't know what that is if something is maybe loose under there might peek under there um and so you know also this has the glossy screen and people seem to prefer a a, a matte screen so yeah i don't need the power of the 11th gen it's not so much faster anyway i can deal with a glossy screen i actually think it looks decent it's, it's not a big problem to me um and so yeah so i will sell that one and um keep for myself the one generation older one which is still relatively new if you fold it and compare it to the old t14 you see it is quite a bit thinner which is good i suppose um i'm gonna be honest i was never all too sold on the laptops needing to be super thin so macbook gear and stuff it's i've always thought yeah cool but if i make a thousand compromises why um here i don't make any compromises it has still all the ports the same ports as this one it still has hdmi i need that so that's very good also it has two usb c's usb a uh, headphone jack and everything all the luxuries nowadays you can wish another usb a here the power button the pencil and a fan so that is the fan is not a port i know you, you know what i mean so this is the overview um do i recommend buying this absolutely like if you know this is these are completely two different use cases if you just want a laptop and you don't need a touch screen then of course why waste money for a convertible it's like not that you're all of a sudden gonna need a touch screen do you so then these are a fantastic value i still think i mean you can pick them up in austria in the eu of course prices are very different than in, in america for example you can pick them up for depending on configuration 280 to 350 maybe even 370 uh and i think for that price these are excellent value um you can upgrade them you can repair them the screen is something you you know you have to deal with it's 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 not terrible i can still look at it it's not like horrendous but it's not gonna blow you away but generally very good value for the money very durable i can confirm that absolutely upgradable and plenty available like there are so many so it's it's you're gonna find a good one eventually so yes unfortunately i have to part with this bye bye because i needed that touch screen and if you want that touch screen and also a good all-in-one laptop which is sturdy then of course the x1 is the choice for you even though the idea pad yoga sell very well i've actually sold a couple of and people that use it were very happy with it i don't actually recommend those those are considerably less good quality than these these are built out of aluminium uh they seem to have a better hinge especially you know they just feel way better built than the, the idea pads and those idea pads still aren't cheap like they use slower processors and of course for taking notes i suppose they're totally fine but if you want a laptop plus this note taking device and have a good quality machine then this one is the one to go for that's the reason why i got it because i wanted to have both i wanted to have the tablet to take notes and then also still have a you know a good laptop with a good keyboard and a relatively good screen so this is my review um and a quick uh, farewell here to the old t14 so yeah i am going from here the really purest like rough and ready tank of a t-series to a more 
modern and more, you know, with more use cases, um, X1, which right now I feel like is a really good machine as well. So if it's durable, if it's reliable, if I like taking notes on it, if it's all good for that, I cannot tell you that yet. It seems to me, yes, but I can confirm it. On that one, on the other hand, durability, reliability, super amazing. So that is my video. Tell me what you think. Um, and if you actually have an older version of these, how did they perform? Like if you have like a G1 or G2, were they good? Did the hinges have problems? Did other things fail like the motherboard, which wouldn't surprise me. Uh, but yeah, let me know. And uh, so that is the video. That's my new laptop. And um, yeah, I will see you in the next video then. Bye-bye.